What's up guys, Joy.94 today, and today I'll be showing you guys something's very important, so spread it, whatever. Um, tell your friends about this, if they have a problem with it, show them this. I'll be posting this on my channel, obviously. I'm probably going to send it to RSP if they'll upload it, or well, RSPHD, I don't know. They probably won't put it on the main channel, but at least RSPHD because it's something important that can affect a lot of people. Now, this virus, I guess, it probably originated in China. Or it didn't really originate in America, but over in the um, east area of the world... I guess it's probably where it originated because I haven't heard much about it until a couple of days ago. And then mostly, like last night, I heard something about it. And then today, I heard a lot about it. So, um, I guess what it is is like a keylogger, which basically, if you don't know what that means, a keylogger is a program that silently downloads and hides itself and removes itself after it's done. And it will, like, basically, whenever you type something, it detects it. So, if you typed on Google porn, you know, it'll detect that. But it's what it's looking for is when you log into your bank account or to your YouTube or anything like that that could be of value. When you type all that in, it logs it and then it sends it back to the person that created the virus. And then, boom, they have your bank information and they steal all your money and then you're fucked. So, I'm going to show you guys what to do to get rid of it and how to prevent it. So, if you haven't seen my computer tutor my tutorial how to completely improve your computer, uh, click the link in the description. You can go watch that. That's more detailed. But basically what you want to do is be smart. And you know, this, this goes to the same thing on Facebook. I used, I haven't gotten one in a while, but for a while, like almost every night, I would get at least five messages from random people that I never talked to. I've talked to like once or twice that are my friends on Facebook or whatever. And it would be like, hey, I had this funny video of you. Click here to watch it. You know, stupid shit like that. And people will be like, oh, really? Let me go watch it. And they'll click on it and, and then they'll have a fucking virus. You know, you got to be smart about these things. If it seems suspicious, it's suspicious. Don't go to it. Nine times out of ten, you know, maybe the one time it's perfectly clean, fine, but nine times out of ten, it's bad, so why take the risk? So what will happen is you'll get a message on Skype from someone, and it'll be like something like, have you seen this picture of you on Skype, or this is your profile picture on Skype, and I'll have some weird link. So don't go to it, because if, if you do click on it, what it's going to do is it's going to bring you to a site, and it's going to try to download something now. Um, I suggest having turning off your automatic downloads, you have to approve them first, you know what I mean? But if you do have it, I'll show you how to get rid of it. So one way to check if you have it is go to Skype, go to your tools, options. Once it opens, advanced, manage other ad programs, access Skype. And as you can see, the only one I have is callgraph.exe because that's what I use to record my dual commentaries. Which I have also have the tutorial about how to do that if you want to know that. But anyways, yeah. So if, that, if there's something in there that you didn't set up, you're infected, which obviously you can see I'm not. Oops, I didn't mean to click that. So anyways, yeah, that's one way to tell if you're infected or not. So if you are, what you want to do is run an antivirus scan. I suggest CC Clean, or not CC Clean, sorry. Super Anti-Spyware or Bitdefender or Malwarebytes. Again, if you watch my tutorial of how to completely improve your computer's speed, security, and performance, that will give you a way more detailed um, thing of how to use all these programs. But run an antivirus scan, and that should get rid of it. Um, you can also... No, oh, never mind. I, remember, I forgot what I was about to say. Anyways, yeah. So just run an antivirus scan. Be careful. If it when it gets rid of it, after you get rid of it and restart your computer, scan again just to make sure. Then run CC cleaner, run the registry cleaner and the normal cleaner. Do all that shit. But yeah, see, so super antivirus should be able to get it. If not, use like Avast or Vera or AVG if you don't want to spend money, or you can buy your cracked Bitdefender. It's up to you. It was on alarm, extreme security, Bitdefender, total security. Any of those would be fine. Just get rid of it. And you'll be all set. It's just, like I said, you just got to be smart about these things. If it seems weird, don't do it. And what it will happen is if you do get it, I suppose this is what I've heard, is it will, I guess it will open up a little icon and it will down something. It'll look, I guess somebody said it, but um, looks like Facebook or something. But I don't, I don't know. I didn't really don't know too much about this. I just know basics. And, you know, it's pretty much like any other virus. Same concepts with everything. So it'll automatically do it'll download this little thing and then it'll delete, delete itself. So, yeah, be careful, watch out for this, and if you have problems with it, just comment and I'll try to help you um, with it, or any other kind of viruses, problems you have. Um, Max, don't think you're immune to this, because I don't know about it, but I'm pretty sure you can still get it. My little cousin today that know, thinks he knows more about computers than me tried to tell me that Max can't get viruses, which they 100% can get a virus, it's just not likely. It doesn't happen a lot, but they still can get them. So if you're on a Mac, don't think, oh, I'm not going to get a virus because I'm on a fucking Mac. You can still get one, dumbass. So yeah, that's it, guys. Um, just thumbs up the video, comment, subscribe, all that good shit like normal. Share this with your friends if they have any problems. 
And um, if you're watching this on the end of the channel, you, my YouTube that I'm, that's making the video is youtube.com slash joeykong94. Please go subscribe to me. I'll see you guys next time. Joeykong94 out.